This is the third method of calibration in our Scale Talk series, and we're going to demonstrate using material to substitute for certified test weights. This method is not as accurate as using a calibration weight to perform the entire calibration, but we're using this method because we can't put enough test weight on the scale to meet the 12.5% minimum requirement. We have a hopper that's rated for 100,000 pounds counting by 20 pound increments, and we're going to be able to put the equivalent of 4,000 pounds on it for the initial calibration. Once the first calibration is done, we're then going to use material or product to substitute for the calibration weight and then check it to see if, when we add the calibration weight back to it, it's still reading the correct amount. So the first step is to calibrate the scale. Do a zero calibration. For our W val, we have it set to 4,000 pounds. We're using one pound, which is equal to 1,000, so we're going to place the test weight on the scale. And we're going to span it with that amount of weight. And accept the new value. Now exit configuration and verify we have 4,000 pounds. And if we remove the weight, it needs to return back to zero, which it does. Next, we'll substitute product for the initial amount of test weight. So we'll put roughly 4,000 pounds of product into the hopper. As you can see, we're jumping between 4620 and 4640 on the indicator because we're in 20 pound increments. And now we're going to add our 4,000 pounds back on, which should give us 8620 or 8640, somewhere in that neighborhood. If that amount was wrong, we'd have to respan it at the new value. But since it's correct, we can do another buildup. So we'll remove the test weights. And we're back to our 4640 or 4620. And now we'll add more product, which gets us up to the next value. And then if we add the 4,000 pounds of test weight back on, we can see if it's correct at that level. And at that point, we're beyond the 12.5% required to adequately calibrate the scale. If we wanted to test beyond that, we would take the test weight off add more product, add the test weight back on, and keep building that up until we're sure it's weighing correctly at higher values.